man. Spencer, how you gonna be broke in two different countries? Today we'll start my work schedule as my morning starts off with work immediately. It starts off with doing work, it starts off with learning languages, and I wanna break that down and that process down as soon as it starts all the way into the end of the day. And right now I'm in between lessons as I woke up just in time to catch first lesson and then uh, I'm packing for the gym. I just wanna make sure that as soon as I'm done with my lesson, it's time to go to the gym. Today starts an important day as I believe it's been like 30 days like straight up since I've been making these like vlogs and I know I haven't been very like coy at the fact that they're daily and I never talked about that it's because it was not a, an interesting idea for me. I think that people in the past made the daily vlog idea as a as, as like a gimmick you know and maybe times have changed maybe I'm wrong I don't know I didn't really care for this to be like a daily vlog this is more of a daily dialogue something that I can get my thought process out to get my my personality and, and capture moments of the day now the entire day hasn't been captured the way I wanted to capture it I would capture moments and I'm trying to get better at sharing those moments I just I'm learning the storytelling process every single day and because I learned this process it's it's an ongoing study and it's an ongoing practice as I'm learning things about my life and aspects about my life that are building towards a future that I'm trying to build and I don't know what the future holds but I do have a goal and because I have a goal that goal is very clear and very certain and I know what I'm aiming for it gives me this very good opportunity to keep building towards that goal I mean you can't reach your destination if you don't have a destination right so you have to have a goal so you can make it there so you have something to fight for and today is the first step of reaching towards that goal in languages tonight I'm going to be uh, doing that but moving forward I want to build uh, not just you know a, a business but a platform or practices and help demonstrate that anything is possible as long as you keep your mind to it so keep an open mind and let's get the day started Gave me a brand new pack of these masks. I would never go mask shopping. Gave me a pack of free masks. She said, yours look dirty, hon. Have these. I'm like, nice. <laughs> I am too tired and too lazy to go to the gym. Whoa. Okay, just, just 30 minutes. I'm just gonna lift stuff, do a short run. One mile, I can only go top speed of 6'1", 6'2". They adjusted it. I need a hat. And funny story, you can just go buy a hat here. So that's what I gotta go through. I gotta go buy a hat. I go to the Picasso, also known as the Don Quixote, to pick up items. Typically the items I can't find at the dollar store, I find here.
These hots are like $20, $30. That is not cheap. So I'm really excited for tonight's class. I've been taking Japanese lessons about twice, three times a week. Well, less than three times a week. Twice a week, sometimes three times. And I didn't really see results. So today I'm just gonna go over uh, how excited I am in the process and my goals. For example, goal is to become conversationally fluent. I'm gonna do this in the three part steps. Number one, grammar and vocabulary. Number two, comprehension, listening and speaking. And number three, practice and the execution of all of this put together. And you know, say what you want to say. I, I don't know if this is the right way. I, I really don't know. I just want to try it. But what I say today will create my tomorrow. If I can't see it, I can't build it. If I can't, if I don't build it, I don't do it. Right? So you can't build it if unless you do it. That's just my tip for today. That's just my mindset, my my daily mindset. You can't build it. If you don't do it, you can't. If you, what you say today creates your tomorrow. All right. So I also came in here to get a watermelon drink. It's just watermelon juice. It's just not not even processed. It's just watermelon and ice. I came in here to break my 16-hour fast. Couldn't make it a 20. I wanted to make it a 20, but I was snacking last night. I couldn't help it, and that's what made my exercise burst. Don't snack like that. Just do the 20 hours. 16. I'm human. 16 and a drink. This watermelon drink is the bomb, by the way. I'm about to start my um, my language lesson here. It's going to be my language marathon that I discussed yesterday. Every day, I'm just going to try to practice 30 new lessons of Japanese. Not every day, but total. That's the minimum goal, and I'm going to. I'm just expecting this new teacher I have today, Miss Momo, today in the next 10 minutes. 10.21, 10.22, I have about um, eight minutes before I get started, so I'm gonna let you know how it all works out in the next half an hour. Cool. She is running late, my man. Don't know where it is. There it is. So that was super cool. Um, I really did enjoy that. So I spent, let me turn this off. I spent a good 30 minutes just speaking nothing but Japanese and that was really awesome. I, I was very clear about what I wanted uh, in the lesson. And I think that this is the major issue that most students don't really uh, look forward to in a lot of lessons. They don't know what they want. They don't know what they want to do. And that's my focus as being a teacher, is I'm very goal focused. And many of you know this, who, who I work with on a daily basis, um, you know that I ask about your goals all the time. So when I met with Miss Momo today, I told her immediately, I told her, you know what, like, I'm just be honest with you, I do not want to use a book, like absolutely no books. Like for, t for two years I was using a book and I failed terribly and I, and I know this very well. So I told her, I was like, hey look, I don't want to use any books, I just want to talk. 30 minutes, let's just go for it. So we've had a great introduction and she's very well versed, like wow, amazing. Uh, I, I think that this Japanese teacher here is gonna help me reach another level of the Japanese that I'm looking for. And this is also going to be part of my goals and I'm gonna share these goals with you now. Okay, much better. So now that August has completed and September has come around the corner, I wanna review small goals, 30 days, 30 days, 30 days, okay? 30 days of learning a new word. 30 lessons, 30 words, 30 Japanese conversation. I wanna to go to the gym minimum 20 times, maybe 25 times, clock 25 hours on Twitch, clock 25 hours in the gym. I also wanna post on Instagram at least once every day for the next 30 days. I noticed that this is becoming a habit, and the more I do this, it brightens me up, it makes me feel good, it gives me a purpose, it gives me something to do and wake up every day, and I feel very happy. Like, I feel the happiest I've ever been 
in a very long time in my life. And I think it's because I've given myself this purpose to feel like the best way possible. Like to just to, to go out there and just create stuff and just do things. And even if I'm afraid, and even if someone makes fun of me or criticizes whatever I do and however I do it, I don't care because I'm making this for me and I'm happy about it. You control your happiness. You do. No one else does. Right? I can't sit around being sad all day. Like, that sucks. You are given an opportunity to be happy. Take that chance. You are responsible to control your own happiness. And that's my message for you today. Have yourself a good night. Thanks for watching. See you later. Peace.